Using the given data, find the sum of squares total, the sum of the squared errors, and the sum of squares due to the treatments. So first we'll do the sum of squares total. And I'll color code this using yellow, and we're going to use this x bar sub c, which equals the grand mean. So that is the mean of all six of these numbers, as opposed to, as some books call it, the x bar sub c, and that's the treatment means. And that's what I have in the other colors here. The treatment means. So to find the sum of squares total, commonly called SS, that equals the sum of the square of every single difference. So 5 minus 5 quantity squared, 6 minus 5 quantity squared, and so on. So just to, to show that, running right down the list, 5 minus 5, five this 5 minus the grand mean 5 quantity squared, and then 6 minus 5 quantity squared, and 4 minus 5 quantity squared, and you can see why I used uh, very few numbers here. Uh, 6 minus 5 quantity squared, 4 minus 5 quantity squared. Where are we? 5 minus 5 quantity squared. Good. And then we can evaluate each of these and we get 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Remember, 4 minus 5 is negative 1, but negative 1 quantity squared is positive 1, and then 0. So the sum, the sum there is 4, so our sum of squares total equals 4. That's one of them knocked out. Okay, let's go with the sum of the squared errors. Sum of the squared errors. And I will use purple for that. And that is SSE, oftentimes abbreviated, most of the time abbreviated SSE, and that equals the uh, sum of x minus x bar sub c, that's for each treatment, and then quantity squared. So I, I square that difference and then sum all of those up. So I'm going to go with blue first. 5 minus 5.5. quantity squared, and 6 minus 5.5 quantity squared. Next group, next treatment, 4 minus 5 quantity squared. I'll do this in green. 4 minus 5 quantity squared, and 6 minus 5 quantity squared. Next one, I'll do in orange for the next treatment, 4 minus 4.5. 4 minus 4.5. 4.5 quantity squared and 5 minus 4.5 quantity squared. And then if we go through and evaluate each one of those, we get uh, 0 0.5 quantity or negative 0.5 quantity squared is 0 0.25 and another 0 0.25 and a 1 and a 1, and a 0.25, and 0.25. So the SSE, the sum of the squared errors, equals 3. So we've got two of them. Ah, now we're in the home stretch. Let's switch to red. Red for the sum of the squares due to the treatments. Here's a nice one. This is fast. SST, the treatments, equals the total sum of squares minus sum of the squares of the errors. So that's uh, SST equals 4 minus 3. So SST equals 1. So we have found all of those sums of squares for the ANOVA table. By the way, 
Look at this. What if we just went to data analysis, a Nova single factor, chose the appropriate data, it's in columns, and then output at starting right here. I'll do that. <gasps> oh, it gave us everything that we wanted. That is, and between groups, by the way, this between groups here, this is the uh, treatments. And within groups is the errors. So the SSE, as we found, was 3. The SST is 1. And the sum of squares for the total is 4.